take your dish strainer, take an extractor knife, make sure you don't cut yourself. It's better if you have um, wire cutters, but I don't have any wire cutters. Go ahead and make a little incision. Go over to the next one. Turn it around um, clockwise. If you do it counterclockwise, you're going to end up unscrewing your uh, extractor knife. Let me tighten that back on. All right. Go ahead. You're going to want to make a um, hole in the back like I'm doing, if you can see. Yeah. Go over to the next one. And again, turn it clockwise. Once your hole's big enough, you can then proceed with, should be wire cutters, but we're going to be using um, needle nose pliers instead. I'm going to tear away at the edges here. Because we need it to be big enough for the male component of the um, male to female USB extender to fit through. Once we got a big enough hole, I could fit the extractor razor knife. And again, I'm going to go in a clockwise motion. Looks like I have it just about the size I want. Close your blade for safety. Needle nose pliers comes in handy for um, taking off any little jagged edges. We now have our hole in the um, strainer. It's not 100% in the middle, but it gets the purpose done. Looks like I got to do it a little bit bigger. We don't really want to force it. And that's why you want to um, make sure you have all the jagged edges off. You don't want to get it stuck on your um, male to female USB. If it pushes in, don't worry about it. Just push it all back out when you're done. Be careful not to cut yourself. Sorry for the um, bad quality of the video. I'm not home right now. Like I said, I'm up in the mountains. And I'm helping a family member get their um, internet back up and running. Because they don't have any um, land-based internet out here. We're literally on top of a mountain. No AT&T, no Comcast. The only form of internet is the Verizon wireless cards. And we could barely get a signal, if even then. So... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right. Looks like that's about big enough. Guess you, we won't be needing these two tools after all. I'll just bend away the um, metal real quick. Don't need this access metal. Simply clip it and pull it to the side so it's not in your way. Again, if the um, bowl shape pushes in, use your thumb to push it all back out. Now you should have a nice little hole in the middle of your bowl. Go ahead and take your USB. You put it in just like that. This is the male side. Don't put the female side in because this will be going into the computer. Now you simply take your wireless card and plug it in to the male port like so. Basically you're making like a little um, home rigged uh, satellite dish. Now if you're wondering how do you prevent it from falling all around real simple 
take the electrical tape, open it up, This may be the hardest part for some people. I hate trying to open up tape. It's never been an easy job for me personally. Teeth come in handy if you didn't bring a pair of scissors. Take the cord, run it along the back of your um, handle. Try not to tape yourself. And simply tape around the handle with the cord onto it. You don't want your um, USB to really touch the metal sides. Shouldn't affect it even if it does, but that's just me. I don't want it touching. So now we have it sitting here in the middle. Now what we're going to do is plug the female part back into the USB port. So stand up I'll set this down grab our USB cord Let's see where the back of the USB is get that plugged in Take the computer off sleep mode. Alright. Let me adjust the camera real quick. Open up your Verizon or whatever your uh, wireless provider, be it Wi-Fi, whatever. I'm trying to find a way to keep this camera up. I didn't bring my tripod with. Didn't plan on doing any videos for YouTube, anyways. connection. Now let's see if I can boost that up by moving a little homemade antenna around. Uh, as you see we just had one bar for a second. We got one bar right there, two bars. Hope you're all seeing that. We now have one bar again, so we got to find a place where this will fit nice and neat. Let me stabilize that more. All right, we got two bars, which is the most of a signal this family has seen in this location on the mountain since they've moved here. Let's see if there's a hook anywhere where I can just hook this up. Put this in the blinds for a moment. Oh, that might not be too smart, but. Alrighty, we have um, two bars. That's pretty much what you do. I mean, there's various other ways you can um, print out a certain format of a piece of paper which you would then cut along a piece of cardboard, but blah, blah, blah. End of video. It's 9 minutes and 40 seconds. That's how you boost your Wi-Fi. Subscribe.